Hello everyone and welcome back to another Infinite Galaxy video. Today I want to talk about a few questions I got on um, in the comment section or also things that um, came up in Discord or stuff like this. So the first thing I want to look into is um, gather speed. I do have one of my um, flagships here at a planet gathering resources. So as we can see, we do have, um, let's just take a look at one resource. Let's take titanium. We do have 27.8K plus 72.0K. Um, so what we are going to do now is let's take a look back at our spaceport. Um, I do have crew members that increase the planet development as well as I do have crew members that increase the uh, mining, the gather speed. So if I now remove the crew members for gather speed, the question is, does anything change here? Very likely, I assume it's still 2772. Okay, so let's recall the fleet for a second and we will send it back. Sometimes um, it is like this that Boney, especially from crew members, only get um, applied when you change the crew members before you start something. So as we see, still the same. So that means gather speed has no um, effect on the resource production the hourly resource production from a planet. Um, if we now also remove our crew member here that does have the planet. Um, oh, sorry, that was the wrong one. That does um, have the planet output. And we now look at the details. Here we can see now the value directly dropped down. So this is even um, a real life change meaning not like for building speed or something like this that it changes um, after some time this has a direct effect immediately um, when you change the crew members okay so that was the first thing i wanted to take a look in um, resource gathering speed has no effect on planet gathering only the planet development, uh, planet output, garden effect on this. So this is also interesting to know if you look at the flagship ponies. Um, we got a flagship here with increasing the gather speed and it also has a planet development. This is the only ship with planet development so therefore this flagship or the these two flagships there's also um, if we take a look here we also have um, the Achilles with the same skill set um, sorry here um, these are the only ones that increase the planet development but um, keep in mind only one of the skills actually will be used either ah wrong flagship um, either the gather speed up or the planet development depending if you're on asteroids or if you are on a planet okay next thing i wanted to look into is um, player power so if you look at the player power i have 11 million um if I'm going to build, let's build a tier 2 destroyer. One single tier 2 destroyer should have 458 power. So we will just get it now directly. 458 power. We do see 458 power popping up there. Okay, so that's exactly the 458 power that... Um, that it's written down there. 458. We saw it here in the pop-up when I buy it and it's also exactly the same 
um, increase in power that we see here. Another thing I were asked is if I get the same power from one tier flagship is it exactly as powerful as a similar power from a higher tier flagship. So let's take a look into this. I will remove all my crew members. I just had these insights to build some warships. Um, I will use the Argo as the Argo got the least skills. I removed all the gear from the Argo. And now we will equip the Argo. If it's completely empty, it got around 1000 power. So we will try to get around um, 5000 power from each um, category. That means I want to go to 6000 with the frigates. So here we are. Now I want to go to 11,000 with the destroyers. And 11 plus 5, 16,000 should be then the target adding the cruisers. 16,3. I think that's good enough. So we do have now 16,389 power. I did mix the ships because I need to test it now on something. You know, let's go directly to level 7. That gives us a little bit more air to breathe. Okay, nice. This time we got killed. We did cause 22,267 um, power loss to these pirates, 22,267. I also do have the coordinates here, so what we are going to do now is we will change the setup of our fleet and we will put tier 7 um, warships inside. So. One cruiser is around 5,000, then we will need around three destroyers and 10 frigates. So we are at 16,000. That's a difference of 300. Um, that means the tier 7 warships that I do have now in this fleet have a slightly lower um, power level than the tier 1 warships I had before. And we will send our fleet to exactly the same pirates again. So it's the same fleet set up from the enemy. Um, this allows us later to compare these two battle reports and see is the power the same or does the lower tier level or the higher tier level perform better or worse. As we can see, we do lose power very, very quickly here. And we do nearly no damage to the pirates. So I have to admit, this is surprising to me. I did not expect that. Um, we take a look both times. It's level 7 pirates. Both times the battle power is the same. Um, we have 300 battle power less with the T7, but we did only 10% of the damage before. So to answer the question I, I saw there on Discord, it makes a difference if you have the same battle power with lower tier ships or with higher tier ships. The number of ships seems to make a huge difference. Um, that is not reflected in the battle power. I mean, this is a very, very clear result. I I am very surprised by this. I'm glad that I made this test. I did not expect that. Um, yeah. <laughs> there we got an answer. Okay, so the last question I want to answer in this video is, does the crew affect your flagship in campaign? Um, I have a flagship here, Hercules level 8, um, modification rank 2, so a typical beginner starter um, flagship and very likely when you're at this level, before you get um, to the next modification level, 
you see here the next level will also increase the flagship weapon um, you will somewhere get stuck in the campaign so let's take a look at the campaign okay so let's take one six we will start it I will just place my flagship here Press the buy 2 button and I will not use any skills, I will just let the fight continue as it is. Let the flagship use its, um, its weapons. So we do have different weapon modules there, we do have the main weapon. And we will see how long it takes to finish um, this campaign mission. And then we will place um, crew members and do exactly the same to see if we can finish this faster. To make sure that there's no difference I will run it two or three times. One minute, nine seconds. First run. Okay, so we were running it three times. We got 109, 104 and 112. Now we will change our crew. I will put everything inside there that I can get with any kind of bonus to flagship. Okay, so we were running now three times chapter 6 again and the times were 109, 113 and 110. Um, in average we were even taking longer now than before. I think that's just some um, statistical noise. So I don't see any benefit from crew members for um, the campaign. Do crew members help you? I can't see any proof for that. Um, I will try it again on some on my other account. Okay, so we start with zero crew. Let's have a quick look what we have equipped on the Nemesis, that we this time use the right crew members. We do have one missile, one kinetic, two kinetics, one laser. So one missile, two kinetics, one laser. Let's get crew members inside that increase attack. So very nice, we do have Laura here with 19% additional flagship output. Um, okay, so we got this time 109, 106 and 113. Before we had 114, 117, 108. Um, I think again this is still inside statistical noise. Um, if we just take a look at the immense bonus we should have gotten from our crew members. We have 19% flagship attack here. Um, we do have another 14% flagship attack here. So just the flagship attack is already over 30%. Um, in addition to that we get all the bonies for the weapons. Um, I don't see any effect from crew members on the campaign to be honest. 
Um, it's a little bit sad. I can probably understand that I didn't want to make it too easy. On the other hand, um, equipment has a direct effect on the campaign. You can even click your equipment and switch from battle stats to campaign stats. So the higher level you get, the more um, upgrades you can make, the more damage and the easier your campaign will anyhow get. Therefore, um, it's a little bit sad that crew members have, as it looks like, zero effect to the campaign. But okay, um, that's it. So we did cover gather speed. Um, gather speed has no effect on planets. We covered um, warship power. Warship power as written in the warship is directly added to the player power. And we also checked does the same fleet power always is, um, is the same fleet power, same strong over the different tier levels. And we figured out that while the power might be the same, more ships are much stronger than less ships. Um, we took a look into the campaign. Um, crew bonus don't um, help you to progress in the campaign. Um, we know that higher level modules will help you there. And um, I can only mention this to everyone who's getting stuck in the campaign. When you rank up your uh, flagship and the first um, skill of your flagship is getting raised, this has a huge effect on your campaign. Um, with a nemesis where I got a level 3 first skill I can do the whole campaign. With my Prontus where I only got a level 2 first skill. Um, yeah, it just sucks. So um, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And see you on the next video.